All right, so in this one, we're gonna do, since it was asked a couple times, I figured why not, a top five best non-Zenkai LF list. Um, so I haven't even thought about this. Like, I'm just raw going into it. Yesterday, I kind of thought about it for the, you know, basically non-Zenkai regular unit, 1% units, I guess you could call it, uh, list. But this one, I'm going raw in. So, looking here, I'm gonna just tell you guys straight up who's not making it because they're just not good enough at all uh lf Riza, old just can't do it anymore uh honestly probably close to his enkai uh if he's enkais he's gonna be fucking crazy and ridiculous so no you don't make it um i'm sorry uh <laughs> this one should not be controversial but i know some people will disagree no, you don't make it. No, the OXO cheaters do not give you validation to make it, sir. Um, no, you are not good. You are very bad. Honestly, I could say this guy seems like he came out the same time as, like, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. He is probably on the level, if not worse, than Super Saiyan Blue... Did I say Evolution? I meant to say Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Evo LF Vegeta. He's on the same level, if not worse. Um, yeah, you don't make my list at all. It's... Kind of sad how pathetic you are. Honestly, there's one LF here that's aged phenomenally, and I I'm glad to put them on this list. I just kind of thought about him. Goten, no, he can't do good damage because hybrids has so many buffs, and they're all just supporting each other, but no, um, all he does now is, well, all you want to do with him, really, is use his ultimate, so your Gohan does more damage. That's it. He's not good. He's aged terribly. Honestly, it's more his defenses. His offense really isn't that bad. But his defenses just don't exist. He's so paper thin. It's just like a free-to-play unit at this point with his defenses. It's laughable. Super Vegito, now too old. Um, honestly, if you never read Super Vegito's kit, which I don't think many people have in the recent days, because who uses him, right? This is the Goku Black mechanic, but um, it's locked behind for strike for strike, blast for blast, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, if he's Zenkai's and they remove this to where it's just 20% to damage inflicted per this card, per this card, per this card, when it's drawn, just like Goku Black, and he's an LF, uh, he'll be the best character in the game, like, no doubt. Already his main ability is still crazy, because it, uh, what does it do? It fucks all their attribute upgrades, yeah. So, already his main ability is crazy, he heals, gets key, card draw. Yeah, he's literally Green Goku Black before Green Goku Black came out. It's kind of crazy. And he gets triple Z ability of 14 stars. But he does not make this list because he is not Zenkai and he is, well, too old. So, okay. Um, I've kind of narrowed it down. There's some that people will disagree with. Like, oh, this guy should make it. This guy should make it. Um, number five. So everyone else here that I haven't named so far is a contender to make it, by the way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options, right? So we have basically five out of eight options, 11 total. Wait, four, eight, 12, 13 total. Jesus Christ, I can't count. Um, so eight total options. Number five. Honestly, I expect a lot of disagreements, but Majin Vegeta. His aging has been phenomenal. Um, his returns haven't been a lot. I think he's returned maybe three times, which is good, but it's not a lot. Um, that also factors into this list, by the way, with teams, how good the unit is now, um, and all that. Their kits and everything. Majin Vegeta... Z ability wise, good. Saiyan and Vegeta family, so very vast tags, very long lasting Z ability, honestly. Unique ability, let's just look at him transformed, by the way. Um, plus 40% damage inflicted against Tag Goku. Obviously, Gokus are always relevant because this game is all about Saiyans, and Goku is the main Saiyan, main protagonist, so he is always going to be in the meta, if not shortly out of the meta, then just right back in. His main shtick that really makes him good is this. So every time an enemy uses a Strike Blast or Special Move, he reduces damage received by 10%. So let's say they do a full combo on you. By the end of that combo, you should have 40% damage reduction, if not 50%. Obviously, it'll go down and down, because it's only for 5 timer counts. But that means, anytime this guy's coming into tank, or tanking in general, he'll take less and less per card to use. And with combo compensation existing, 
he's actually taking a lot less than most units would, even if they had the 10% debuff. There is the motorcycle! Love you, man! You fucker! Love that guy. Love him. Don't even know him, by the way. But, yeah. On top of that, he gets damage inflicted every time he's hit, so... With his Z ability, with his bench, with his teams, he has a lot of support flowing with Vegeta family, especially. And even on Saiyans, because he heals when he transforms, then I believe he can heal again? No, he doesn't heal again, but um, you have Angel Vegeta that can heal him on a Saiyan team, so it kind of works out. And on top of that, you can run him with LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku, obviously. They would mesh decently well with the blue cards because this guy wants to use them. And, well, you're most likely going to face a lot of Saiyans, a lot of Gokus, so running a Saiyan team yourself won't be the worst idea. I think he's a very good aged unit, and I am happy to see he is aging pretty damn well. Not even bad stats, and mine's only 6 star. I'm glad to see he's aging so well. Um, it's impressive, honestly. So... Number six, um, I know we're going a little backwards here, but I kind of just figured I should just talk about it now. Who won't make this list um, that could? It is between LF Broly and Vegito Blue for number six. I'm not going to lie. People will be mad. All you can want. Good for you. Um, they don't make the list, one of them. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I'm thinking team-wise, right? Vegito Blue, I would say, is... Is he your optimal pick on most teams? No. Is Broly your optimal pick on a lot of teams? No. But is he more optimal on some teams than others? Yes. Broly is optimal pick on Super Saiyans if you are running a Blue Blue Purple. Vegito Blue is not optimal pick on a Blue Blue Purple. Future. Um, or many teams besides Fusions, but Fusions is very dead. So. I think Vegito Blue doesn't make this list. Yeah. He's number six. Yeah, I rate Majin Vegeta over Vegito Blue. Easily. Vegito Blue is just replaceable. Now, Majin Vegeta is also replaceable, but think about it like this. He's doing more to Goku's. What is the main unit in the game? Given it's a green one, what's the main unit that are coming out in the game right now every single day? A Goku, a Goku, a Goku, a Goku, a Goku. Majin Vegeta literally is swimming in fucking Goku juices because that's all he's fighting. So, Vegito Blue does not make this list. And I guess... Yeah, LF Broly being number four would make sense. He is better than Vegeta, no doubt. Um, I have dogged on Broly here and said he's very overrated, which I agree with. He is overrated as hell. Because if he's not run with Super Saiyan buffs, um, he's not doing that much damage. And if your opponent is competent and or running a decent team where they have a cover, um, it's a lot harder to use this Broly. Because let's say you drop combo and then they don't switch. Well, your Broly is going to get fucking... Two carded. Like, Broly can't tank. I'm gonna show you his stats right here. These aren't good stats. For tanking, at least. He has Majin Vegeta stats because Majin Vegeta, obviously, transforming unit. They have higher stats. But he can't tank. He has no cut uh, anywhere, I believe. Like, all I see right there is damage inflicted. Yeah. Yeah, damage see when he covers, but he has no cut on his own. He doesn't gain damage uh, cut, like, through a fight or anything. So, with that, I would say number four for him. Super Saiyan buffs is why he even makes it on the list. Anything else? He's good with his damage, again, and even doing more to Saiyans puts him a little higher than Majin Vegeta because it's more broad. But besides that, I really dislike him because you have to play someone that's pretty... Your opponent has to be worse than you for this guy to go off. Like, a lot of greens are meta right now, and that's besides the point. It's just... You have to play better because when they switch, that's the point of him being god tier. Because he gets card draw, restores vanish, plus damage inflicted. The card draw is what makes him better, right? Unless you have a green card, you're not going to get card draw with this guy. So you have to force their switches. But if they're switching 20 times, they don't know what Broly's gimmick is and how good he can be when he's built up because they're switching. But if they know, they'll just take the five card combo because charge step and all that. And then they'll just chill. He's not going to kill them in one combo. He's just not. He's not good enough to one combo most units. That's just how it is. So I would say number four for him. People might rate him a lot higher. I personally can't see it after using him extensively. Trust me, I ran Super Saiyans a fucking lot. And even on Blue Blue Purple, just 
movies, everything. I've run him on every single team. I really don't see his output as much as I used to. Now, again, we're going to kind of go this teeter-totter thing where we see who doesn't, who does, who doesn't, who does. So, this one, number three. Number three is a real big toss-up for me here. Because I have my number one already picked, right? Like, I'm not changing my number one because I guarantee it is... It reigns true in a lot of people's minds and specifically in mine. Even if I have this character low stars, I might be giving it away, but, you know, who cares? Number three is... Ugh. Now, the one that doesn't make this list is not bad, by the way. I'm going to say this character doesn't make this list, and you're going to say, oh, so they're bad. No, they're not bad. It's just, comparably to everything else that we see here, they aren't it. Like, they're not what you need. So number three, I'm going to say Gogeta Blue. And for the character that doesn't make the list, I will say future gohan now obviously if i say future gohan doesn't make the list i'm gonna say rose doesn't make the list right yes so rose and future gohan do not make the cut so obviously number two number one you can kind of see who they are we'll go over them as we continue but yeah gogeta blue is number three i would rate future gohan ah i, I it's always tricky with this guy because i really don't like him it's not because my stars because my number one is two stars and you see him um, I rate Future Gohan worse than Rosé. Uh, Hybrids doesn't need him. Hybrids is the main team. They don't need him. Future really doesn't need a yellow. They have so many good colors anyways. They really don't need a full color wheel. Yeah. Uh, I don't rate him that high. I would say he's... Eh, I guess he could be number six then, right? It, it doesn't really matter where I rate him because he's not in the top five. But if I had to rate him, I'd say number six. And Rosé is better, in my opinion, no doubt. Uh, but he just... Uh, it's just not enough damage, not enough support, anything. He's just a little bit of bleed, which is good, because it, you know, lasts when they're on bench, too. But that's about all Rosé supplies while Gohan is buffing and all that. Uh, I don't know. I just don't see the need for either unit, but I really don't see the need for Gohan more than Rosé. But to go over number three... Gogeta Blue. Now, everyone slept on Gogeta Blue, calling him pretty shitty when he first released. If you didn't say that, then I'm proud of you, honestly, because I thought he was complete shitty. Shittiness, I would say, uh, on release. Just because, what does he necessarily do? Well, now we know, but he didn't pair well with anyone when we first saw him, right? We thought no card draw speed, then Broly had card draw speed, so Broly's better. We thought the counter seemed very good but it was impossible to pull off so we thought okay broly's better well you look at gogeta blues uh just one unique and it's this this is what makes him better this right here this bottom part when he enters the battlefield he restores 10 percent health restores key by 30 plus 20 percent damage inflicted and then uh nullifies cover change him with vados on a god key let's say a yellow yellow green god key with god vegeta him and vados he's restoring 20 percent health Every time. On top of, he has, I think, four health equipments. This guy can restore up to 40% health, I think? Every time he comes in. And, remind you, Vados reduces sub count by three. So he's not even waiting the full ten. He's coming back in. Seven counts out. He's getting 40% of his health back. Now, one caveat to that. You know, could be seen as a negative. Could be seen as a positive. His... Well, he's an LF, right? So he has low stats. So him dying early could happen to where that wouldn't even be, like, a thing that matters. But overall, you're going to see Gogeta Blue really be a menace because his buildup is uncancelable. His damage inflicted is pretty damn high. Then he heals on his main. Uh, does he nullify endurance, I thought? I thought his ultimate nullified endurance. Yeah, nullifies endurance, blast armor, blue cards are quick animation, green card... Holy shit, you land a green card with this guy, you're gonna- you're killing somebody, like... Oh, man, he's just so fucking good with all that. The more damage the powerful opponent. I don't even know half the stuff he does, because I don't really use him often because of low stars, but... Even at the star level, you could see him as just a goaded character. Like, I honestly am shocked how good he is. Very good, very, very good LF. Um, but number three. Now, number two, UI Goku. 
Uh, I'm not gonna bullshit it like, who could it be? No. UI Goku. UI Goku is worse than Kid Buu, in my opinion. Now, why do I think so? One, UI Goku's teams, Saiyans, not ideal. Um, like, say, Gogeta Blue, um, Yellow for God Key. Is it really ideal? Honestly, I like Yellow, Yellow, Green with God Key. I think that's the best team, one of the best teams in the game that set up Yellow, Yellow, Green God, God Key. So, yes. And that's his main team, so that's the only one I really care about. But UI Goku, Saiyans, eh, not really. God Key, again, my main setup would be Yellow, Yellow, Green, but he is a good unit to have on the team. And Sun Family, I don't think he really fits all that well. Um, you obviously want to run the Triple LF Sun Family more than UI Goku. Well, Triple LF Zenkai 7 Sun Family more than UI Goku. So, that's one reason I think he's worse. Two, his unique gauge is... A gift and a curse. Now, obviously, if you are really good at the game, you can take advantage. And honestly, UI Goku can detrimentally shit on people. Like, he can 1v3 without a shadow of a doubt. But you're reliant on one thing. And the one thing is he needs his green card for him to really, really do damage. Um, if you don't know, his green card gives card draw speed, health, all this bullshit. And it feels like he needs it because his buildup, yes, he has some... But it's just not enough. Like, 30% and 20% right there, and then 60% uncancelable, that's great. That's 110%. But he needs the card draw speed to really make it stack and just go off, like, completely. Because he's restoring the key, so he's getting it all back. If he had innate card draw speed, I would say he's the best non-Zenkai LF. But without it, he just... It feels like you're stagnant some of the times with him. Like, even on his best team, let's say, God Key... You have Super Saiyan Blue Goku as card draw speed, you have Gabaji that can get card draw speed, then you have UI Goku who can get it, but it's a lot more gated. Gabaji gets it from being tap attacked. Super Saiyan Blue gets it from timer counts. This guy, you have it for what, 10 counts? When, let me see, 15 counts. Okay, not too bad. But 15 counts when you land a green card that's also a long animation that's very detrimental if you fuck it up. Now, the main point of him is obviously his unique gauge. Like I said, it can be a god tier thing, but I've noticed recently with running him, because I've run most of these characters more often than not uh, recently, just to see like where they match up to each other. And I don't know. I just don't see it as that impactful. I would say it was more impactful when it released just because the learning curve, obviously a unit that has essentially three to four vanishes without really vanishing is going to be tough to play against. But I feel like people have learned against him, learned how to beat that out, kind of bait it. And I just don't think it's that oppressive. I think it's really good. Don't get me wrong. Like if you're playing like you're a UI Goku like main and this is like your guy and you know how to fucking screw people over, it can be the best thing in the game. But I also see the negative to it where if you get baited enough, this could honestly lose you the match and this character will die in one blue card to a lot of units, like not even type advantage. So that's where I see UI Goku being a uh, number two. Now Kid Buu, I think Kid Buu is the best non-Zenkai LF in the game. Let's go over why. Now, for the first things first, Kid Buu's green card. Restores own health by 15%, restores own vanish gauge by 60%, activates 4 times, plus 30% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, increases own arts card draw speed by 1 level, and cancels on attribute downgrades. That's a green card, by the way. And on top of that, you don't think Kid Buu gets some green cards? No. Kid Buu draws a green card. Yeah. So, this is why Kid Buu is the best to me. This at the bottom. Draw a special arts card. Um, when enemy switches characters, whatever. That's not hard to do. And inflicts all enemies to sub, sub count by 2, and enemy health restoration down 20% for 15 time accounts. So many units that have been on this list heal. What does he do? He fucks their heal. Gogeta Blue's gonna heal? He's healing 20% less, less now. It's fucking nuts. And, obviously, the better of the two is the sub count. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily play for their sub counts to be ready, but it just kind of goes. You, like, you don't really time your sub counts Every single time you're playing a match, maybe you do, but every single match you cannot time your sub counts properly to where, oh shit, I can't switch because, well, this, plus two to sub count, 
you firstly will not remember Kid Buu does this until you're playing against him because no one runs him, which is sad because he's really good, but it's just that nobody really summoned on the banner. People thought Angel Vegeta was mid when he came out. Funny enough, that banner, these are honestly my favorite two uh, units from those banners in the game right now that aren't Zenkai's. Like, they're the best in my opinion. Um, Kid Buu, with that plus two sub count, just screws everything. Like, you don't... You have to adjust so hard to him than he does to you. Another motorcycle. I, I just wish. I just wish people knew the law, but that's fine. Kid Buu, um, with all that on top of it, um, his blue card. Deals massive impact damage really applies one of the following effects. He can do up to 40% extra, 45% extra damage on his blue card, which is fucking crazy. And this. Um, look how much... That is literally... 80% of the game, he does more damage too. Then he has 90% uncancelable damage. So look at that. 25% to almost 80% of the game. Okay. Then 90%. 115% damage, right? Blue card. Let's say it maxed out. 150% damage, right? Green card. 180% damage on Kid Buu. 180% damage. While increasing their sub count. While nullifying... Not nullifying. Fucking their health restoration, and inflicting enemy attribute downgrade plus 20% damage received. And he's getting a vanish gauge recovery for 10 timer counts when you have to refer your cards. This guy is UI Goku on steroids because his damage is so fucking crazy and so stupid. And on top of, if you don't know already, the main ability cancels en enemy at attribute upgrades just like UI Goku, just like some other units, which is crazy. Steals enemy strikes, stores own health by 40%, and regen, you know regen likes to heal. I, I, I can't see negatives to this guy, I really can't. And his blast card cost goes down, I didn't even fucking know that, because I can't run him that often because he's 2 star, but even a 2 star, this guy's fucking Zenkai's, I'm not even joking. 190% to damage afflicted, then he could get up to 240%, his maxed out damage is 240% to damage inflicted. Think about that for a second. 240. What is UI Goku's? About 150? 240 damage inflicted. The only downgrade, or downside I would say, is he's an LF, so his stats aren't the best. And that's it. That's it. There's nothing, like there's literally nothing besides that that makes him bad. He's fucking crazy, in my opinion, easily, not even a close competition with UI Goku, the best non-Zenkai LF in the game. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this list, if you agree or disagree. If you enjoy the motorcycle men passing by every fucking two minutes, it seems. And let me know who your guys' number one is, and who you think was a hot take in this video. Because I think, people think Future Gohan was a hot take, but that's just me. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and I'll see you guys in the next one.